Hey guys, Wee Scotty here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a homemade lava lamp using anything you just little things you can find in your cupboard at home. So, first things we're going to need to do is you'll need to collect your materials. First thing you're going to need is a standard glass tumbler or a tall jar, preferably quite thin. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit later. The second thing you're going to need is just vegetable oil. Uh, olive oil works as well, but it's a bit more expensive, so just any kind of uh, vegetable oil. As well as that, you're also going to need a small amount of water. And finally, to create the uh, bubbly effect, you're going to need some, some denture tablets. Um, effervescent, any kind of denture cleaning tablets, Sterident, I mean, I'm using Tesco's own brand, works just as well. Or you can use the little vitamin tablets you can buy. I find these are the cheapest, so these are good to go for. Also, optional, if you want to colour your lava, um, a couple of drops of any colour of food colour works as well. Okay, so materials gathered. First thing you're going to need to do is taking your water, is put about an inch of water into the bottom of your glass. You won't need any more than that. It's just so that the effervescent tablets have something to react with. Once you've done that, now comes the careful part. You're going to need to take your oil and very carefully, rather than just pouring it straight into the water, because that creates little globules of oil, we're going to tip your glass. You're going to slowly pour it in. And what the oil will do, because the oil is lighter than the water, is the oil will sit on top. So what you want to do is fill up the rest of the glass with the oil until you've got something which looks a little bit like this. If I put the oil down, I can actually show you. Look what happens to the water when you move the oil around. You can actually see the level of the water moves around like this. And this is because the oil is lighter than the water, so the water will naturally sit on the bottom and just like you find at the bottom of the sea, you get underwater lakes where the water at the bottom of the sea is so dense because of the amount of salt in it that it creates a different form of liquid that's heavier. So the water on top of the sea will actually float on top of these underwater lakes. And it's the same for oil and water. So I'm going to put that in the middle there. Now, if you wanted to and you had your food colour, when you put the water in, you would have needed to add a couple of drops of food colour, mix that in with the end of a spoon, um, and that will create your nice coloured lava bubbles. Right, now we've, done, now we've prepared our lava lamp, now we're going to create our bubbles. So I'm going to take one of the fizzy effervescent tablets, and just watch what happens once I add it into our lava lamp. I'll move it a little bit closer, as you can see. There we go. Now, as soon as the effervescent tablet hits the water, it's, it's going to go straight to the oil, it's not going to react. As soon as it hits the water, it's going to start reacting with the water violently. It's going to effervesce, it's going to create lots of bubbles. And just watch what happens once we actually drop the tablet in. So there it is. The oil is just coming off the tablet and you can see it's starting to react. And all those little bubbles are going up through the water into the oil and they're starting to float all the way to the top, just like a lava lamp. Now, if you look very closely, you'll start to see some of the bubbles are beginning to drop back down again. And this is because when the, when the bubbles initially join together in the water layer, they, call, they form large bubbles. And just as they leave the water layer um, as larger bubbles, there are lots of tiny other little bubbles which will uh, try and tag on to the outside of those and they're the ones that just like a life preserver in a, in a raft or just like if you've got water wings on your arm when you go to the swimming pool they are pulling the larger bubbles up up to the top. Now what's important is these bubbles on the outside of the bubble it's made out of water. Now like at the beginning of the video the water is heavier than the oil so after the bubbles get to the top because they're touching the air, all those tiny little bubbles which are, act, which are acting like life preservers or like armbands are popping. And then suddenly the bubble of water is, is too heavy, so it's beginning to drop back down again. And so this will continue all the way until your um, fizzy effervescent tablet eventually stops fizzing. And if you notice, if I move it back a little bit, you may be able to see that the colour is actually pink. And that's, I've not, I think that's something to do with the actual tablet itself, because when they started off, it was bright pink. Although one thing I've noticed is that once the tablet is finished dissolving, if you leave it for half an hour to an hour afterwards, the water and the kind of pink um, foam on top eventually clears, and it goes back to being clear water, and the oil itself, once all the bu water bu air bubbles have popped, that will also pop out, and so you'll end up with a nice clean lava lamp. 
Now, at the beginning of the video, I suggested you had you could go for a tall, thin glass or a tall, thin jar, possibly like an olive jar. And the reason for this is I think you'll get slightly better effect because the bubbles will have further to go and they'll also drop down as well, which will have a slightly nicer effect. One thing you can also do, and I've tried this out at night time, is if you get one of the little um, push button LED lights that you might stick on the inside of your cupboard and put it underneath, it actually um, gives the lava lamp a nice uplit. Um, light, especially if you turn off your lights, put that on, and it'll actually look like a real lava lamp. So there you go, guys. A homemade lava lamp, um, safe to do in the classroom. As you can probably see, there's nothing dangerous going on at all. Uh, it's a great way of teaching uh, about gravity, about weight and density, if you're in Key Stage 2 for science. And it's also a bit of fun as well, because you can use any colour of um, food colouring. And as a, bit of an as a bit of an experiment, why not um, experiment with the different types of oil? One thing you can do, and it works well with balsamic vinegar, is why not put balsamic vinegar in as an extra layer, and you'll find that it should sit between the water and the oil. Also, different types of oil will be lighter and heavier than the others. So why not put in different types of oil on top of each other, as well as your water base at the bottom, because you want something for the tablets to react with. Anyway, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoy making that at home. And remember, if you like the video, um, like and subscribe, and if you did enjoy the video and you found it really helpful or you'd like to know more about how to make things like this at home, then drop me a line using my username or you can find me at tim underscore cared at hotmail.com. Okay, enjoy guys and stay tuned for more.